Today I'm making another video about our photosynthetic bacteria plant food because we've had quite a few questions from viewers about how to make it from scratch. In the other video that's been quite popular, we've talked about how to make it by adding some existing bacteria to the mix and that kickstarts it and really gets it going. But quite a few people are saying they can't get hold of any, they don't have it, so is it possible to make this same product without the starter? And the answer is yes, but it does take some time. In this video, I'll show you how we make this photosynthetic bacteria plant food from scratch without using a starter, and provide you with some tips and tricks of how to do it well yourself. So it's going to be a bit experimental. We're going to try a few different things. We've had kind of a mixed success. Some of the original ones, some of the ones that we did for the last video, they haven't turned red. They've kind of got this green, murky uh, substance inside. We're not sure why, but I suspect, we suspect that it is because we didn't clean our bottles first. So it's really important. The first step of the way is to start with clean bottles or to make sure if you've got used bottles that you give them a really good scrub out first. These are drinking water bottles so they are clean. Then what I'm going to do now is to go and select my sources of water. I'm going to use three different sources of water for this experiment because water coming from a different source will affect the outcome and we want to experiment to see which one's going to give us the best outcome. This is because whatever water we're using it has got some bacteria in it already. And another tip is to not use chlorinated or water that's been treated. So if you're in a, in a city area or in anywhere that your water has been treated you can use it but you must let it sit for at least seven days so fill your containers however many containers you want to use with the chlorinated water or with the treated water and then let it sit for at least seven days so this will neutralize that chlorine effect in the water because you can't have that chemical additive otherwise the bacteria is just not going to grow a water source that is pure, that is unadulterated, so rainwater or water from a, a stream or a river or a pond is going to be a better option than using chlorinated water. And then as we progress we will walk you through the process. As I said, you can do it without adding the starter, but it takes time and a little bit more effort. So keep watching and you'll learn how this process can be done without the starter and you can start producing literally billions of your own microorganisms to put fabulous goodness back into your garden or onto the plants on your porch or your house plants or any plant anywhere is going to appreciate the goodness that this photosynthetic bacteria brings to it once you add it to the soil and spray it on the plant's leaves. First off I'm going to label my bottles so I know which source the water has come from. So this is our house water, I'll label the cap as well. And then just fill the bottles. So this is water that we use in our home and it comes from a nearby well, so a bore. So for my second source of water I'm just going down to the back of our property. So at the back of the property here there is a canal that uh, runs across the back of the section and this is a uh, canal, it's, uh, it's an irrigation canal for the rice fields and the longan orchards. And it is sourced from a reservoir up in the hills somewhere. But it's very low at this time of the year. It's the <laughs> height of our dry season here, so there's not much water in it at all. But I don't need a lot, just enough for this little exercise. 
there's nothing more fundamental that we can do than be making this photosynthetic bacteria food. It enhances the plant's ability to use nutrients in the soil that stimulate their growth. And without plant growth, nothing can survive. I had to go down a little bit further and as you can see I've managed to pick up some of the grunge from the bottom of the stream as well. This is moving water, it's flowing ever so slowly at the moment but this should be a little bit different from the next batch of water that I'm going to go and get now. So for my last bottle of water I'm heading out to find a pond and in this area with uh, lots of farms, lots of orchards, there's lots of ponds. So this should give me a good third source of water. Normally in this area here, normally in this, this is a, a canal that's usually running all the time in the rainy season and through into the dry season, but just the last few weeks it's been, uh, it's been dry. But there are ponds dotted around the landscape everywhere here, so I'm just going to go and see if I can uh, draw some water to fill a bottle from one of our neighbour's ponds. I'm sure they won't mind. I'll be uh, curious to see if I meet anyone along the way because they'll be uh, wanting to know what on earth I'm doing walking up the road with a camera and a bucket and a bottle looking for water. But it'll be a good test of my Thai language to see if I can explain to them what we're doing. When we first started making this, when we were first here, um, the first batch that my wife made, and she had some bottles out on the lawn, as the, uh, the bacteria was photosynthesizing, and we had a couple of local guys come down, ask about the bottles and what she was doing with them. And as she started to explain it, one of the guys just said, oh, stop a moment, and he went back to his motorcycle, got out a notepad and a pen and started taking notes. So he wanted to learn, he wanted to know what we were doing. I'm not sure if he's actually followed through and made any himself, but uh, it was just great to see that the people were curious and interested in what we were doing to make something natural like this because they said, ah, oh, all that they know is what they hear on the radio and that's all advertising for chemicals. So, there's one pond down there, we've got another pond just here, this one's going to be, oh this will be really easy to access, I wasn't sure. I bought a bucket uh, with a rope attached to it so I can uh, draw the water but it looks like I'll be able to get down to the edge there and fill my bottle quite easily. So there we go. There's a good bottle of pond water, so this will be a good third water source for our experiment and uh, we'll be able to tell you in a month or so how well each one of these has worked and what I know tell you about it, we'll be able to show you in it as well. So now I'm heading back to our kitchen to continue the process and this will mean adding the ingredients for our photosynthetic bacteria food. And the ingredients are with the exception of the starter of the PSB, they're the same. It's just egg, MSG and fish sauce. But what's important to get this work well is the process that you must go through when you're doing it from scratch. It's a little bit different, a little bit more time consuming, a little bit more effort involved, but not much. And we'll show you this as we're making it. Now I've got my water here, I actually went down and got another lot from the canal because this first lot I got is, uh, it's got a reasonable amount of sediment in it and I'm not sure how well that'll do but we'll add it to the experiment. So I've got some canal water without so much sediment, some with some sediment, I've got some pond water and then I've got the water that is from the bore that comes into our house. So this is the three now three and a half different types of water and so now I will mix the other ingredients. So I'm going to break two eggs 
into the bowl and then I'll add some MSG, some motto sodium glutamate, Pontarot and Thai, and then also some fish sauce. So these ingredients will be mixed together and uh, they will then be put into a smaller bottle, so just a separate smaller water bottle, and we'll leave those for a week, sitting in the bottle and uh, just percolating. It doesn't matter where you keep them, I guess it's best if it's not too cold, but in this climate we don't have a problem with that, so I'm not sure. I've never tested it in the cold. So that was one tablespoon of fish sauce. Now we're going to add one tablespoon of MSG. I've just had to go down and buy this because we didn't have any. We don't actually use it in our kitchen. We're only using it when we're making this photosynthetic bacteria plant food. It's not good to eat. And Thai food is so delicious it doesn't actually need to have any MSG added to it. So already that doesn't smell very good at all and I'm sure after it's been sitting in this bottle and the heat we're getting about uh, 40 degrees in the shade these days so it's going to be pretty potent after a week I'm sure but it's really key to be able to just leave that sitting in the bottle for one week so for seven days but every day you've got to make sure you burp it you're going to want to take the top off it for a while i wouldn't take the top off it from here i might take the top off it a bit more like this because egg and fish sauce together i'm pretty sure it's going to smell pretty strong within a day or two but keep it for a week keep opening it and burping it for a week and then one tablespoon at a time add it to the water from any different source that you've got if you've only got one source of water that's fine but for this experiment i'm trying three or three and a half sources of water so i've got my two sources from the canal at the back from the pond and from the tap water so once you've added this mixture to your larger bottles they don't need to be five liter bottles but if you're using a smaller bottle make sure to reduce the amount of this mixture that you add to each bottle so this is one tablespoon per five liters and then you're just going to need to set these somewhere it gets as much sunshine as possible and then every day you're going to just upturn the bottle and mix it up a little bit make sure the top's on properly <laughs> But once the mixture's added, give it a good shake up. But then also once a day, make sure that however many bottles you've got, that you're mixing that, you're shaking it up a bit. Don't shake it violently, but just turn it and turn it over so that the mixture gets really circulated through the water and the bacteria will start to take. And after about 10 days, you should start noticing some color change. So I'm going to record this as we're doing it and then I will produce another video in a month to show you how successful or not the experiment has been to start our photosynthetic bacteria plant food from scratch. And I hope this helps because we've had quite a few comments, quite a few questions about how to do it if you don't have the starter. If it does work, be encouraged to make sure that you don't use all of your original batch feeding your plants but keep some aside for making your next batch of PSP plant food. I hope this has answered some questions if there's still more questions please drop them in the comments below and we will do our best to answer them. If you haven't yet seen the other videos about our photosynthetic bacteria plant food that I've posted online already please take a look at these videos here. Thanks for watching.